in progress. Okay, uh, very good morning and afternoon and evening. And uh, uh, my greetings uh, for you, all people who are with me on Facebook and uh, my colleagues on Zoom audience uh, to facilitate me, to help me uh, uh, for learning and for teaching point of view. Uh, today is a very important day because uh, we are going to start a new session a new course, a new series, uh, which I have uh, picked from that book. That book is the map of consciousness explained by my favorite and inspiring uh, psychiatrist, Dr. David R. Hawking. He was wonderful and amazing American psychiatrist. He was amazing spiritual teacher and he was an influential Christian as well. His work in spirituality in, in spreading the message of Jesus Christ in the message to spreading the spirit of Christianity all across the world is enormous and therefore um, I, I liked him, I, I studied him a couple of books in my uh, library, there are many books as well. And if you go back to the previous, uh, uh, my classes recording on YouTube, there are some recording. So many uh, sessions I conducted uh, based on his, one of the book, The Letting Go is also a phenomenal book he did wrote. We are deciding to, um, to write, uh, to learn from that book, the map of consciousness explained. So my old uh, audience um, or my regular audience, uh, probably the Jenny and Cynthia, uh, you may know that about uh, this map, which is on the screen, the map of consciousness by David R. Hawking, in which uh, uh, David Hawking he basically masterly, amazingly uh, closed the whole human uh, emotional and conscious level and intelligence level and the state of mind in a, what we call it a table in a matrix and give and present it to the mankind and People and students like me are just, I mean, uh, uh, what we call, are just, we are inspired uh, from, from his, this map of consciousness work. That's why he wrote a very thick book on only this, um, this very subject of consciousness. And this book is popular um, all across uh, spiritual tradition especially uh, Hindu, yogis, um, Chinese, uh, and some part of the Muslim Sufi, uh, they acknowledge it as well, because it is the universal teaching. But his inspiration uh, and my inspiration, one of the inspiration is our Jesus Christ. Uh, so of course he, he gathered a lot of information uh, spiritual information from teachings of our Jesus Christ uh, as well. But obviously, uh, we are not in religious class, uh, but we are in, in intellectual, consciousness-based spiritual class where we are trying to learn uh, the idea of success in a very thoughtful way. And that's why uh, we will cover in this series only one chapter, and that chapter is based on the ABC of success in 10 stuff. So basically, uh, Dr. David Hawken, he uh, 
presented 10 uh, steps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And all uh, these steps we need to take simultaneously in our life. And that uh, test, uh, and that, sorry, steps are the landmarks of any success. That success, uh, which is possibly different for you, possibly it could be different for me, but we need to have a consent that what is a genuine meaning of success, which is acceptable for everyone. So this session, this new course is very personal for everyone, but at the same time, we are going to learn the genuine meaning of success and what meaning of success is actually, what subjectivity of success covers rather than just objectively on a superficial basis or success is the one uh, or once you are a millionaire, that is your success. When you have a, a beautiful husband uh, and beautiful wife, that is your success. Or once you have a, a very high um, and big company in, in a corporate sector, that is your success. And uh, once you become author of 10 books or 20 books or 50 books, that is your success. Um, so there are a lot of impression of success in our life, especially in West, uh, because West, uh, Western countries, they are leading the rest of the world in terms of success. They giving the meaning of success to the rest of the world. Whether it's wrong or right, that's a different thing. But we in this course will try to understand what is success mean and how we can achieve it, how we can put ourselves on the way, on the uh, way of being successful. You know, we always, uh, when we meet each other and we, we talk about our friend and family, then we often refer them, oh, she is very successful for us. Oh, she is a, oh, she's a very great mom. Oh, uh, she uh, great means successful. Uh, she, he, or, or th that family is very successful because that family is doing this, this, this. So this idea of success, we often, we most of the time, uh, we discuss, we um, mention it, we, uh, our gossips, our uh, intellectual discussion or serious discussion uh, revolves around this thing as well. Or for many people, the success is mean, the person who is very close to the God, uh, that is probably they refer as a spiritual success or your. So in this uh, course, we will try to learn 360 degree meaning of being a genuine successful person. How does it sound? And uh, uh, we will, as you read, uh, some of the paragraph in every class. Um, and But I need a commitment from you. Uh, and that commitment is every week when we will read something, we need to apply in our personal life as well and try to see current state of your life, which you are living where you stand as compared to the genuine strength. If you agree with the opinion of uh, David Hawking, but, and David Hawking is not an ordinary person. I, uh, I wish I could meet him and I would come in America to only uh, visit him, but I, I, I know him through his books, through his spirituality, through his uh, divinity, based Christian uh, passion he used to have. But anyway, uh, let's carry on uh, our today's class. So this book, The Map of Consciousness Explained, it is a proven energy scale to achieve your ultimate potential. So you know that uh, 
he basically presented and calculated and uh, and formed uh, this map. Uh, and that map have a significance uh, according to energy level, uh, according to God's view, according to how we see in a life, according to the level of success a person has, according to the emotions involved in each view, each level of our, our state of uh, being and what process it takes uh, thing. So I will, I will bet on this. If anybody will not read any book and if he or she decide to just follow a couple of big things to lead his or her life or rest of the life, I will bet that that map uh, or that book, uh, obviously that book is, that is sufficient for you, for your success. If, if you are only needs to, uh, and you are not a, a big reader that you want to read more and more and more books and you don't have time, just only read that book and you will see how your life will, uh, thousand times boost what you are um, living with at the moment. So, uh, and that is a my, uh, man. Um, we, uh, a couple of uh, videos uh, you can search on YouTube. Uh, and he also speak, used to speak very well in our audience, but not very much because uh, on that time, social media was not very active. Uh, otherwise, his old speeches and uh, and uh, group sessions must be in video recording or at least audio recording. Uh, but anyway, let's go and uh, read just two, three paragraphs before we start this new course. So I want to know about how do you feel before we reading how uh, does it resonate to you? Um, or it will, do you think that it will help you to know about to knowing the success meaning in genuine way? Or you will rely on your own uh, pre-learning, learn definition or idea about success? or being a successful lady, or being a successful man. What do you think about? Well, go, go ahead, ahead. No, Go ahead, Jane. Well, I mean, to me, success is just so many different things, um, but it's really just the value of life and your relationships, you know? I, I'm definitely a success in my career and my job. Um, you know, I know we, you know, need money to survive. So I'm very big on that in the business. But I think the business relationships are what make the business really thrive for me. And then friendships and family and uh, success to me is that my relationships with the people that I love and care about and, and also the people in the world. And without like a good career, if it's like your birthday, I can't celebrate it with you if I don't have any money, you know, or, or, you know, bring over a gift for a baby shower or, or maybe some food for a funeral or, you know, whatever it is, all these things take money, you know, they do. And going to see somebody, the gas, the expense, the trips, whatever. Um, so my, my fire as to why to do well financially is to, you know, be better and being there for the people that I care about. And I'd say that's probably top and number one. And the spiritual aspect too, God first, you know, uh, the people you love second and the business actually third in that order. And to me, that's kind of success. No, wonderful. That's a very uh, comprehensive view about success. It's, it's good. Unless we will uh, compare what the 
David Hawking thinks about, and uh, that will help us to uh, add and remove something if we need to do for our, uh, based on our previous life history. Uh, yeah, Cynthia, what do you think? Uh, I think it was very good, first of all, what Jane said, it's spot on. I, I look at success in a, a smaller ways. I mean, my business, I am a success at my business. I know what my goals are, but sometimes like at home, if I want to accomplish something at home, a lot of times if I figure something out and I've learned how to make it and it looks right, I, I often say, you know, I reach success. So it, it, success means several different things. Yeah, absolutely. That is also a very popular view, which Cynthia just mentioned. Uh, anybody on the Facebook, If what do you mean by success? For you, what is the meaning of success? Uh, in addition, before we uh, read something from the book, uh, yeah, I think in our current scenario in the global inflation, uh, from last especially 20, 30, 40 years, when um, there are millionaire, millions of people are millionaire in America. Uh, there are million, billion people. Uh, they are struggling to become rich. Uh, and everybody directly or indirectly in the race of money, earning money, like uh, Jenny just mentioned that money is very, very important. Because if you don't have money, it means that you cannot survive in the world. And your basic bread and butter, food and home uh, is because of the money uh, uh, you will earn. And uh, a and lot of people who do, uh, who do nine to five jobs, uh, they are in a, in a new form of slavery. Uh, I will say it's slavery because uh, even though you are very on extraordinary role in your company, but you are among the fraction percentage of the global employment uh, of, of the people. But the majority, 99% employees are live like a slavery. They always look, please, I, I can get 5% increase of my salary, please. Uh, now the inflation is going up in my country. I need to earn more. And then if you can't get the higher and desirable salary, then you have to do the other job part-time or your partner has to do something more big. Even if you have a, uh, children, then you need to do more other. I know a lot of people who are doing four, five, six jobs uh, and they are just, unbelievable uh, how how they are surviving in the in on this planet and uh, yeah for for mostly population in the on our planet they need money for this role and once they secure the financial need then they go for the higher step based on hierarchy of muslim if you know about he he said there are seven ranks of human upgrade and uh, conscious level. And the basic level is our, uh, our food, our survival, our home. And after that, you go further. You need uh, some family. Then you need some contribution in the society. Then you need more and more. And then God. So obviously, there are many uh writers uh, their influence influence uh, influential uh intellectual work uh refers basically what uh, success starts from but success start from i also agree personally starts from once you start to cope your physical survival very well then your other uh, level starts until until you are very different person and you live, you decided to live like a Jesus Christ, you decided to live like a Prophet Muhammad, 
you decided to live like a monk, um, Hindu or a, a Hindu yogi or a Buddhist monk, uh, where you sacrifice all these things and uh, then you dedicate your life for knowing yourself through uh, a ladder which goes to your uh, God. Uh, but that is the highest spiritual level. I believe uh, in today's world, many people, once they secure their current uh, family life, uh, then they go these type of bold steps to, to know, know about God, to go further in spiritual uh, field by uh, sacrifice their current modern way of, life, way of lifestyle. Um, but few people, they, they have other thing. But for them, there is a success. The true success is to know the God. The true success to be part of Prophet Muhammad, part of uh, Jesus Christ, part of Prophet Buddha, part of uh, to be uh, in line with the, with the divinity of their, their Lord or Krishna. Or, so there are so many spiritual things. For them, it is the ultimate success to go. But however, we are living in organically in this planet in a survival mode anyway. Like I'm talking with you and you are watching me, you are listening to me. It is a surviving mode. We are in surviving skill because I have a body, I have a mind. Um, you have a body, you have a mind. I'm sitting in a, in a material environment and you are also in the same. So this is all surviving uh, mechanism which we live. However, if we are able to turn into a spiritual dimension, while keeping in this material world, by keeping and following the paradigm of material success, like Jenny earlier mentioned and Cynthia also, that is the true and ultimate success as well, in my point of view. I might be wrong. But here the purpose of this course is to know concretely what meaning and the steps to get be on a path of success. That is the purpose of this course. So let's let's uh, start to read a very basic intro, and then from next, I will keep bringing episode one, two, three in the same series. And uh, if you like it, and if you think it resonate, then you can uh, ask your friend and family to to join this free class as well. So let's start our reading and the ABC of success in 10 steps. What are the 10 steps? I will tell you later, but let's, uh, what is the ABC of success mean? By legend David R. Hawking. Okay. So I would ask Jenny if she can start reading, please. The ABC of success in 10 steps. The degree to which we have not allowed ourselves to experience the reality of our true self is represented by our re resentment towards those who have actually done so. We resent their aliveness in the areas in which we feel disabled. When we come from an energy field below 200 on the map of consciousness, we dislike, criticize, and devalue that which calibrates higher. The small self seeks fame and fortune by undermining others. Mm, thank you. It's a great reading. So he's referring that when we come from an energy field below 200, then we dislike, we criticize, we devalue that which calibrates higher. So if we are on a lower level of, of uh, our energy, conscious, a map on conscious, then we criticize other. Do you see many people, they criticize um, and they make fun of being a religious person? Um, if you tell that I'm a lover of Jesus, they mock you. Do you see? We come across a lot of people. They make dirty jokes about religion. They make 
I mean, lot of things. How do we, how uh, do you respond? For example, if you are a religious person and somebody disgrace, uh, let's say some holy personality or, or the teaching of the religion which you follow or the spiritual path you follow, how do you, uh, do you respond to that? So there are two approaches. If, if my energy field is below 200, uh, which is on the map. Let's let's see first what is below 200. Here, if you see on the screen here, that screen, the 200 energy level here, the below is uh, you comes uh, pride, anger, desire, fear, grief, apathy, guilt, shame. So you, if you have uh, these things with you because you are below 200, then you will bounce back to that bloody person who is abusing you. So you will be neck to neck with fighting. You are part of chaos now. You are part of quarrel and fighting now. Yeah, because he hitting your religion. He is or she is hitting you from your to your spiritual. He's making a fun of you or blah, blah, blah. But if your energy level or conscious level is above 200, like then you will be uh, on a level of neutrality, willingness, acceptance, reason, love, joy, peace. Then you will, of course, your response will be amazing. And uh, of course you will ignore him or her. And, uh, and probably you will be inspiring that person who is mocking you being a religious, or being a spiritual. So that is the difference how people um, respond when their religious uh, affiliation is in danger. For example, nowadays, a uh, lot of people who are tend to be religious and uh, they have a narrow-mindedness and they fight with other religious people because they think their religion is superior than other. And uh, and that is going on. And uh, the other people who have a below 200 energy level, they will respond them back with more severe, uh, more severe uh, harsh uh, response. Uh, so that's how the world is becoming or will become a place of violence uh, and authoritative uh, type of. Uh, agenda-driven uh, societies we will become. But if we are above 200, then we will not disgrace anyone's religion. Uh, and also, we will not feel offended. That is the beauty of this map. So this map basically guides us how you can prepare yourself not to feel offended, and also not to make other person uh, feel offended because of you. So that is basically uh, giving you an academic uh, approach to make you higher conscious level person. You know what the significance? And that he's, he's saying that if you have a below 200, which Jenny just read, that we start to dislike other, criticize other, devalue, the other people who have the other values as well. And also the same thing from here, I, I got uh, another point. If anybody who is 200 plus energy conscious level, we also criticize them. Uh, we also criticize even God. Many people, they criticize God. Uh, they criticize other great people. For example, Mother Teresa, Nelson Mandela, uh, some people they criticize some founding fathers of America as well. Some people they uh, they criticize uh, Gandhi from India. Uh, some people criticize uh, for other religious figure as well. So don't remember their conscious level is not what it meant to be. So you do you don't need to respond them. Only you can inspire them to change their mind. 
and that is the beauty because their conscious level is too below so they cannot see the goodness in jesus they cannot see the goodness in prophet muhammad they cannot see the greatness of buddha they cannot see the significance to be on a path of spirituality so that we need to know about uh, this thing so here's a story uh, that story i will read and then uh, next paragraph cynthia will read is a very quick story is a is a good story as a and uh, maybe you may have uh, uh, know and listen this story before a man walks along the beach and comes upon a fisherman with a pail full of crabs he says to the fisherman you would be better to put a cover on that pail or that or the crabs will get out well no said the wise old fisherman there is no need to that you see as one crab crawls up the side of the pail to get out the other crabs reach up and grab him and pull him back so other other no need for cover <laughs> so and that is a beautiful uh, quick story um and why story and it tells a very meaningful uh, impression to me that in our life for example if we have a areas like family being a parent being a child being a boss being a let's say jew being a american or being a british person being a white person or being a black person being a, a muslim being a hindu um, being a in a list of millionaire or rich people or being in a middle class whatever role we are or on any uh, social location we are if we want to come out any obstacle if we have in any role in life then the other other role or other dimension of your life will will pull you back and stay in the same uh, pail what what he is referring here like if i want to become for example a rich and i i know that i need more money then probably your family is a biggest obstacle or probably your health is a biggest obstacle and that will pull you back to earn the money you see and that is the beginning when you start to blame other and you are no longer proactive because proactive person once decide he or she work proactively on the goals what she or he advise for her, himself or herself and then go on no matter how resistance that person will feel or experience they don't care about the resistance they don't care about the relations they don't care about the social location or the role they are they just go and further but mostly people they criticize or oh, you know i'm 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 a, i'm a poor because of my wife or you know because my wife is not supporting or enough for me she always creates problem for me and and the wife if she is not doing a work and she will blame to the husband you know uh, uh, why i'm not in, in in the life which i want to achieve you know i'm a multi talented uh, uh, when uh, but i could i didn't do anything because of james because of my that husband because i have to uh, and he he did this 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 for me we start to blame and that blame never ends and that's for you will act like that crap you who is pulling yourself to being out of the pail out of the basket of this uh, crafts full of uh, basket full of crabs and 
therefore that is a big uh, challenge for us uh, you have to make a bold decisions you have to think independently and wisely and uh, then you need to make second and third ways to come out from this pail from this basket full of crap your relationship your ch children your social identity your religious identity your any national identity your racial identity they all will act like a crap for you to come out to go to the next level of success or to be the starter uh, of being successful person so think like a fisherman okay and have a wisdom that nobody is pulling me back and i will not allow anyone to pull back, pulling back even even you have a very supporting uh, supportive couple uh, your partner your children your colleagues you himself herself is the bloody enemy of your success you will crap yourself and that's why you have a fear of failure you will have a fear fear of success which is not a outer reality it is your internal reality which which pulls you down nobody is pulling you down you your crap thoughts are making you down you think that you cannot do this and you have accepted it therefore we need to identify craps uh, in our life and uh, we must come out from uh, these craps if we want to uh, be really successful okay so let's go further and uh, what what the he's saying yeah so cynthia if you can read it please as we become freer and happier we will see that the nature of the world is like that pale of crabs and then we will seek to transcend the negative entrainment by embracing an inner attitude and lifestyle that acknowledges the greatness in ourselves and others true success does not come from attacking a so-called enemy but by nurturing success in ourselves and everyone around us the tragic careers of many individuals of genius after being discovered and celebrated by the public illustrates that there is success and then there is success the former frequently jeopardizes life while the latter enhances it true success in levels and supports the spirit it is not about isolated attainments but about being successful as a total person attaining a successful lifestyle that benefits not only yourself but everyone around you the small self aligns with weak and attractor patterns this is a crab mentality the self is aligned with high power energy fields that is love excellent it's a very good reading so you see that uh, how the david hawking is explaining that how the success we need to take not with the crab mentality but with the higher power energy feel like love and the power energy feel if you see on the map if you see on the screen where is love here is love so love is almost third fourth higher uh, from the highest uh, level it has a 500 energy field um, and that underneath you are you are full of love and you love like uh, jenny uh, she was explaining and uh, narrating the story about his friend who recently came from London. So she has love as a being a friend. Um, and of course, uh, that aspect give you the very well reasons, acceptance, willingness, neutrality, and courage. 
So these are the package you will get automatically when you are at the level of love. And what is the opposite at the level of love, uh, which possibly is a fear, grief, or desire uh, with anxiety. Uh, so that is uh, the way of uh, success, how uh, David Hawking is trying to say. Uh, and we must align with, there is very important question. And um, and I actually it's not a question, it's an idea which uh, David Hawking explained well. The similar idea is taught by my another favorite teacher, Dr. Stephen Covey, uh, the writer of Seven Habits. He also mentions and wrote the book, The Eighth Habit, on the same idea, on the same reality, that you must be the whole person, then you will be successful. If you are a rich person, that is not your success. If you are a very good parent, that is not your success. If you are very, very spiritual and uh, claim to be spiritual, that is not your success. Success is the whole paradigm of being a human, which have physical intelligence, mental intelligence, social or emotional intelligence, and spiritual intelligence. And when these four intelligence works and start to work together, that makes you whole. And exactly the David Hawking here is saying and referring a total person. Like this is called the total person. And that total person is the same thing which whole person Dr. Stephen is referring in the book Eighth Habit. So, uh, because of course, the, uh, Stephen Covey was a spiritual leader as well. So he knew what really meaning of success. And in the market, you will see a lot of coaches and trainers and uh, authors as well who does not believe on whole success whole person paradigm. They say, oh no, you know, if you will look like a beautiful person, then that is the ultimate thing you can achieve. Or if you will become a millionaire, that is sufficient for you to become a millionaire. Or, you know, if you become a master in that field, that's the only thing you need. So they basically have a very limited paradigm uh, about other persons to feel being successful. And that is the tragedy of modern age as well, that we come across these type of people as well. We need to avoid because life is the whole paradigm. Life is the whole, uh, whole uh, body full of body, mind, heart, spirit. You cannot work only body to get the success of in your life. You need to work on your body, mind, heart, and spirit. All together, when you start to work in a meaningful way, that is your success. And that was a purpose, and that is a purpose of all spiritual, um, all spiritual uh, traditions. Uh, prominently, I'm talking about. That is the thing. Uh, we are in the second last paragraph. Let's go further. I would ask uh, uh, Jenny if you can read it. Uh, please uh, forgive me. The, uh, some of the spellings are not good in this uh, because I did not do proofreading. But from next time, I will be doing a properly uh, uh, proofreading before I present it to you. So Jenny, if you please start it. Instead of envying or hating success, the truly successful imitate it, copy it, identify with it, and develop the patterns. To take responsibility for one's own actions and their consequences is in itself extremely powerful and almost instantly raises one's calibrated level of consciousness to over 200. An extremely valuable insight learned by all spiritually evolved individuals in the course of their development is seeing their own personal consciousness as the decisive influence that determines all that occurs in their lives. 
a truly successful identify with the ABC. They realize that they are a channel acted through to create success in the outer world. And as much as they identify with the actual sources of success and not merely the effects, they have no anxiety about losing it. They can lose their fortune or position and recreate it in no time because it all comes from their ABC, which is their inner power. We say of such people, whatever they touch turns to gold. But other people who view their success in the realm of the external, A, Z, B, Z, C, will always be insecure because its source is thought to be out there. Excellent. It's a great reading. Uh, it's very crystal clear. What a beautiful language he, he has written. Um, and he, he is identifying what is being a successful and what is not being a successful. Being a successful, he's referring, it is your inner environment, an inner higher level of consciousness when you go above 200. And above 200, let's see the map again. So this is the 200 and above. So if you are able to make your conscious energy 200, 250 to 310, 350, look what you are on this level you are going courageous neutral willingness person acceptance you are reasoning full of love and then go on did you see how how it's beautifully he he's able to differentiate between and we can see it as a litmus test for our life where we stand currently and like jenny just has read that an extremely valuable insight learned by all spiritual spiritually evolved individual in their course of their development is seeing their own personal consciousness so personal consciousness is important not out there we always see out there we make and we define success by seeing other. Oh, other people are doing um, uh, what is called currency business. I need to do currency business because she she became millionaire. So I will become millionaire after doing. Uh, he he did uh, uh, what is called uh, uh, other type of business. Let's say stock market shares business. Oh, I will do that business because he got success from there. I will do as well. Oh, he become superb actor in Hollywood. And he was my class fellow. And he was not very well handsome. He was an ordinary person. But now he's a millionaire. He's become, he has become a celebrity in Hollywood, in America. Why I cannot? Now I will go and I will become actor more uh, popular than him, and that is my success. So, did, did you see that how pretty and um, low value criteria we do and we follow by seeing the other people what they are doing? David Hawking is saying the success is not out there. Success is inside you when you will be doing the higher level and work and on your conscious level. Otherwise, ABC of success is very clear for you when you start to work yourself to your inner peace, to your inner world. Then you, your success will be ABC, means very straight, very clear, very uh, self-driven. But if and, and you will be the person who touches and make the things gold. Like very, very uh, inspiring and spiritual people they are. However, if you chose the other thing, then you will be uh, rely on external people and your success will be A, Z, B, Z, 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 not A, B, C. 
because your source of success is out there, outside of you. And that is the biggest truth anybody can know about reality of success. Have you seen uh, anybody know that what are uh, what is called uh, uh, it is very the, where the poor people lives uh, we call it a slum yeah maybe in America or uh, in UK I know a lot of slums in 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 London surrounding areas as well the where people don't have don't live uh, in a in a in a house uh, they don't know where 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 their next food will come from and they don't know where they will poo or we they don't know because there is no place to uh, to release there is no toilet there is no loo but they are living there from ages we call them slum and some people are very very successful there as well how they laugh all the time they it is their world and they did not define criteria of being successful by seeing the people of city how they are living in their lifestyle they are too narrow minded and they have create their own internalized values and with that, these values they are happy and uh, and they are successful now I don't mean to say that this is the ideal way of uh, being successful what I'm trying to hear point out the person even they don't have food house, money, we even can see they are feeling being a successful as well. Because of internalization of their own happiness. They don't happiness lives outside. They live happily in raining. When anybody give them charity, they are happy to take and eat. This is their success. So that is success is an internal phenomena. Because internal phenomena is make you on a higher uh, raising your consciousness. And the last thing that true success comes as the automatic consequence of aligning your life with the higher power energy pattern and following the certain steps which is this course about. The true success is not just about a job, business, enterprise or money in the bank. It is about who you are as a total person. An energy field that inspires, uplifts and beautifies no matter what you are doing. True success stems from being aligned with the energy of life. And energy of life is this, which uh, these are the energy of life. There is another separate column in this. And now from here, what are the 10 steps? What is the first step, second step, third step? So we will read it. We will learn about if I have decided I need to be a truly genuine successful lady, genuine successful person and man, genuine successful professional human being, then we need to follow this step by step, 10 step. And that is all our course will be. How does it sound for you? Uh, does it resonate you about uh, what uh, David Hawking is saying about the how we can create the genuine uh, success definition and what really success mean is? 
I found it very interesting the way the story was related to crabs in a bucket and how yeah they they attach themselves to one and then you and you keep having that that was a that was a good way to look at it, what could be holding you back <clears throat> it is it is that's the and and these all crabs are also referring the people who rely on outer world and they see the success is outer world because whatever you will feel and you are perceiving the outer aspect or people or company or this will make you a truly genuine successful person and and after a certain time they will act like a crab and you will be disappointed. How is it possible that my, my beloved wife, who was my girlfriend before marriage, she left me? She left me alone when doctor diagnosed that I have a severe fatal disease. She left me alone? How is it possible? I can't imagine. And the same scenario, and and you you feel disappointment. You there are the big traumas in in our life when we rely on outer people, outer world for being uh, and associate ourselves for our success. No, no, success is very internal thing. So you need to have a detach detachment from other. Otherwise, other people will be crap for you. Other companies will crap you. How is it possible? I served, I served my company for 20 years and my company fired me after 20 years. I, I established a lot of departments and I made this company from scratch to the landmark of the city and they fired me today. How is it possible? Because that company was a crab, actually. And you started to your, associate your success with that company. No, no, no. Internalize your success within you by hiring your consciousness. And then you try to build a relationship with that company. Then you try to make other your wife or husband. Then you can make other people as until you do not have an internal success, the, everything will one or one, soon or later, they will bite you like a snake. They will act like a crab for you. And that is uh, the, oh, our today's top um, intro of the significance of this course, the ABC of success in 10 steps. I hope uh, you, have enjoyed this session. So we will continue uh, to read it and, uh, and apply in our practical life by comparing what we learned and where, where we are and help hope. And I'm sure that we will make our uh, life with the significant changes uh, wherever possible uh, to increase our awareness. So I'm your host and facilitator, Marathip. And uh, we'll see you next time in the same course in the next episode. I will also upload this recording on my YouTube channel in a separate new list as well. So you can um, watch again and you can also share with your friend and family. And uh, thank you so much for your valuable time. Goodbye. Thank you, Meritip. Thank you for a great class. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.